GQ TV. GQ TV. GQ TV. GQ show. Me that know me. Me not talk. The shocking vibe studio. Kingston, Jamaica. Yeah, that. Don't know. Don't know. Fucking vibe studio over there. And I'm chilling here with the man himself, Ivan Person. Bugle. Bugle, tell the people where I go on it. There, I'm a bastard, you see me? See? Full up my head with alcohol, I come and full up my gas tank with it. You see? See? <laughs> <laughs> so, what's the new year looking like for, for Bugle, man? Right now, to all my frost is like my brain crash. <laughs> see? Well, you don't know, I just hard work overcomes all difficulties, you know, so we just still there uh, like a slave. Because a black history month, so see. it's like a slavery month, so we just are going to hurt, you see? see? So many hits, but I still got to talk to you. Exercise every day, man. Yeah. That's on the march of America. Take America by its storm. Yeah. Where did the inspiration come from for that song? What you know let me Exercise every day and I'm still not fit My kids are hungry and I ain't got shit What I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna do What would you do? Exercise every day and I'm still not fit My kids are hungry and I ain't got shit What I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna do This is what I'm about to do, y'all it's just another day in the struggle. Yeah. Naturally, no. It's just like I see the writers so sit down on a bill, man. I'm brushing them. Yeah. One day, I'm just a drive, stop in a gas station, buy a Guinness, and stay some frost. I'm just a vibe and I sing about my life. See? Because it really, you know, like, don't take it literal. When I say exercise every day and I'm still not fit, yeah. don't take it literal. I'm not talking about go to the gym or go to the fitness center, whatever you want. See, see, I'm not talking about see. my life, like. See. I work hard every day for achieve and you know, it's we still not get to the point which we want to get to because first and foremost, if we are talking about minimum wage, because them times they're like, I'm no, no. never boss or nothing, you understand me? I said that I like 2006 yeah, when I write that song, I'm never boss or nothing. So as you get a little thing, it done faster than you get it. You see me? See. So, I just hard life did I reach man certain way when man sing them songs they still cause it's real and it's not like some have the easiest life right now but my life better. For real man. Cause we can't be ungrateful, you see. That brings me to my next question man, cause that song definitely did it for you and you broke that barrier man and now you're doing it. So I'm saying to you, how did music change your life, man? Huh? Well, I've definitely financially changed my life. That's the first change. That's, that's the it biggest change. Changed my change. life financially, which is a great change because see. you don't know. Like, I, man, I come from one pair of shoes. You see me? Mm -hmm. Man, I come from nothing, and man work and work and work and save and save and save and buy a little car and another little car and another little car. And you see? see I just see. I garrison thing which part every little youth in the garrison want to reach to the stage which part a man can own a little car and ray and ray. And you see me? I say. Yeah. Definitely. But the music thing now changed your life, which part you don't have to sell back a car to buy a car. I drive a brand new BMW now and the music do that. Yeah, the thing is. And that's my life changed completely, yeah. changed financially. Like, Definitely. I don't right. suffer like me used to suffer. Wow, the me? thing turned up right now. Thing. Now, who are some of the people that you haven't worked with yet that you want to work with? Well, to tell the truth, it's not like I have a list of people that I would want to work with. Okay, so it's any just a case where. Me deal with real music and talent. So from the talent there, there and yeah. the real music there, there, then more work with people who serious about music and I deal with music on the level where me I deal with it. Definitely, it's definitely. Not, you understand what I'm saying? Because yeah, man, I look down for nobody at all. Yeah, you're willing to work. Yeah, yeah. willing to work as long as who I work with passionate about the music as much as I do and them, them talent real. I re I and and the music where them are sing real. I definitely hear that, man. What's one thing you would like to say to your fans right now, man, before we cut um, off? Thanks for the support over since 2007 up until now, 2012. Like, we will never drop off of the planet yet in terms of music. Now, here in the past, I'm going to have three, four hit songs. So that alone I show you so the people them love Bugle and the people them embrace Bugle. And I just always look out for good music from Bugle. And 
Whoever idolize me, I always go be your idol because I'm not let you down. You hear that? Definitely, See? man. Lugli, I appreciate your time, man. And I wish yeah, you continued man. success, man. Your fans love you. Real and proper. GQ, Bugle, we are chucking by the studio. The thing turn up. Take us out of here, be careful. GQ, no worry about them pagans. We don't see them true with Ray-Ban. GQ, we no worry about them roaches. Can't see them have with Bagan. GQ, no worry about life. But we worried about day. GQ, no worry about we gone already. What we worried about, so we're not gone yet. You're messing, I cover the world like Google, you know. JQ, TV, and Bugle, you know, real and proper, you know. Money we are dealing with, not steel and copper, you hear that? We live for this, GQ, we live for this. Uh -huh. If you know I spoil my day, me, I enjoy my life, so get out of my way. Sickly. Right, appreciate it. Yo, it's your boy here, Liggy, representing for GQ TV. And we here we have this lovely little lady here right beside us, yo, and she's gonna take us through the history of what she does, how she do it. She's a Jamaican artist and she's not even from Jamaica. People, we're talking about the one and the only. What's your name, lady? Princess Rebel. This is Big Princess up GQ Rebel. TV, yeah, yeah? man. Respect. Look, don't take her lightly, yo. She has some wicked rhymes, she has some sick music, people. You need to check her out because she's gonna go happen. She's gonna be big, she's gonna be hard. Trust me, and you got the interview here first, GQ TV. Check it out, that's what's up. Now, Princess Rebel, yeah? You're here in Jamaica, you're doing your thing. Like, tell me some of the things, some of the artists that you have been working with here. Well, uh, I've done a tune last year with Beanie Man, Emergency Doctor. Hello, this is the medical center, how can I help you? Hello, is that the emergency doctor? Yes, this is Dr. Davis, how can I be at service? E Doctor, you have to come urgently, this is a princess rebel with a medical emergency. All right, I'm in the ambulance now, I'm on my way, hang up your phone, darling. Emergency, Mr. Dr. Mon, oh. you have to bring come your medication. Sure. Can you give me some of your low potion? Give me the injection for your nylon. Come. Emergency, Mr. Dr. Mon, oh. you have to bring come your medication. Sure. Can you give me some of your low potion? Give me the injection for your nylon. Use my thermometer just to take your temperature. You are the RB tensor, my meter carb is wet up. Be afraid of a rush, I lie down on the stretcher. Yeah. Me did do a tune before actually, a few years ago, that we're just getting a remix for now actually with Gregory Isaacs, Dapper Slapper. That's what's up? Yeah, that's that, may I that's say, what's that's up. a cool, brand new cool. thing so, still, yeah. How long have you been in Jamaica doing your thing? Well, I came back here, I mean, <laughs> I originally come here about 10 years ago, tell you the truth, doing okay. show like Sting, Spectrum, Reloaded, and then. It's not like me really did take a break, but certain thing in her life, you understand? Cool. And me come back a couple of years ago, do the tune with Beanie Man, as me say, last year. Right. And it did a go on good sort of thing out here, but... Oh, cool, like cool. Say, so, you know I mean? how, how is it here with you now, coming from overseas, coming into Jamaica and making a name here? How hard is that for you? Is it easy transaction or are you you're finding it difficult or is it easy for you? What's up with that? How does well, that go? I wouldn't say easy or difficult, it's all about opportunity. I mean, you know, it's one thing to have the talent, but this is, you know, a music business and you have to make sure you've got the right production, really, preferably the right management, the right structure behind an artist. Until all that is really in place, yeah. you know, nothing really comes, you know, it is a hard work that you have to put in. I do write all my own lyrics. I have to rehearse doubly hard, car. obviously, Patois is not my first language, you know? Okay. Uh, but I do have some rap lyrics, you know, I'm trying to get into your accent, but I don't know if I'm going to be doing that. But you're very versed. I like to be versatile, yeah. I'm from England, but I like the Jamaican accent and the American accent, so there you go. Yeah, there you go. No, seriously, this lady is doing it big, yo. You need to check her out. Now, I need to know, like, what made you fall in love with reggae music? Well, this is going back really a few years ago. I've been in love with reggae music since, you know, from when I was young. I wasn't really thinking of singing it or really getting into it until I was started just writing some lyrics, really, yeah. you know, for a joke at one time. And somebody said, why are them lyrics bad if me did write them? So, as I say, me write all of the lyrics. I was on the Guinness, I don't know if you heard of the Guinness Sound Agreeaners. Yeah, we know, we're familiar with that show. Yeah, the, well, Trooper win the Sound Clash, but I win the Freestyle Clash. That's so what's now, up. right now, we have a repetition, Ton Bad Man and a Doppy in 60 Shit. Second. What? Yeah. Oh, that's what's up. Oh, so um, tell me some of the artists that you know um, you're, you 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 look up to. 
some some of the artists that you you think are great or would like to be like or any of them you would you know idolize in that effect well as far as female artists i mean back in the days from when i was following it it was like lady saw lady g running the place cecile now you've got a whole heap of female artists that if me tell you the truth i do respect all of them there's nobody out there that i think why that not really too so right you understand okay. the music now is such good standard and so much competition i mean you know when i'm looking to aspiring artists from bob marley dennis brown budgie banton bounty beanie man from back in the days of the veteran you know i i skier for mention artist guys like me I can miss out one of the biggest names oh. I'll make a good that you understand but you have to take a piece it's you know it's not just right. one artist we like to really look at various artists to try oh. and get a fuller flavor because for me coming from foreign to be doing what I'm doing I'm having to really not just listen to lyrics but I'm having to study the culture as well it's one thing to learn the language and not that but to understand the mentality to be able to write the lyrics to know oh for kill man and turn them in a doppy cool. understand you have to tap into the oh, real minds of how we are say, thinking, yeah. Yeah? yeah, and put it in together. So you then have you to deliver. Study more than one person. You know? Oh, I get, I get you. I feel you right there. Yeah. I feel you. No, seriously, I'm feeling you. So, like, which studio you're at right now, and what you doing now? Yeah. Well, we day here shocking vibes right now. As yes, I say, I'm up. looking to do um, a remix on. I did have my tune with Gregory Isaacs. I, I bring it back from England. But let's just say it's not the best mix yet and I'm really looking to be sorting that out and I'm looking to go down to Mixing Lab and work with one of the producers down there. But until things really, you know, people can, as all artists know, voice tune and the tune don't get put out. I mean, I did have the honour and blessing of actually having a tune, would you believe, release on Studio One record in England three years before Sir Cox and Dodd pass away. I'm still in love with you, boy. Oh, oh, but cool, as I cool. say, you know, unfortunately, Sir Cox and Dad, as I say, pass away three day after that. But we still have the tune and probably thinking to re rework oh, on something okay. like that, you well, know. So anything so. possible. We have whole heap of lyrics to watch out, you know, Princess right, Rebel. Um, where, so where can the people reach you? Where can the fans see you? Where can they reach you if they want to get in contact with you in terms of do a show or something? Just tell us what, what where, where we can find you. YouTube or wherever. Give you, you have an email address or something you want to give a shout out to and set it up, up out there where, and, you know, people, you, you say you won the Guinness Greatness uh, singing yes. competitions. Yeah, so where, where, where can we reach you if we wanted to give you a show, line you up for a show? Give us, tell us, let us know what's up. Well, as I say, I haven't got management concrete lineup oh. still. I mean, I've got Facebook yeah, account, so you know, the normal, it, yeah, you know, you Princess Rebel. If you search Princess Rebel on Facebook and on MySpace and, you know, the usual things on YouTube kind of thing, the email address is princessrebeluk at yahoo.co.uk. Okay. Um, also, up. Nigel Angus, I'm doing some work with him. He's in New York. Oh, okay. Um, he manages Charlie Blacks. I've got to big him up still because, as I say, he's given me so much advice and he's told me more about the business side than really people out here, if I'm Mentioned perfectly honest. Yeah, okay, so. Do well, you have anybody you want to give a shout out to? Just do that right quick, real quick. And Well, GQ TV and Shocking Vibes with A, you know? Right. And everybody and all my friends and fans who I work with the thing and now I fight the thing, you know what I mean? That's what's yeah. up. Blessed hey. love, one love. Yeah, man. That's what's up. That's GQ TV, and you're here in Shock and Vibe Studio. And we just talked to Sister Rebel here, and she's doing big things. Look out for her. Look it out. People, this is GQ TV, and we're out. Yeah, big up GQ TV. Well, I mean, in Princess Rebel, come trample out all devil. Yo, man, said I'm a bad man and run off them out like them a girl. Hello, big mouth. Keep talking. No, I say you never did want to listen and eat the warning. Oh, tcha. Hello, big mouth. What are you doing today? What you want to ruin today? Me no want to lose talk wrong, Mr. Just move and go. Hey, tell them me no beg talks. No, me no go run tell people. Back it if me have me no fail. Me no carry news, me no run off me mouth tell people. Dirty big mouth, me no ail. Me no beg rating, me no freer than a man. Me would never yeah. beg a bullet, much less beg a done. Me no freer than a talk and a lick from the hand, from me barn and me grow. I saw me program big mouth, yaga yeah, dung, you want to sell me out. Could chat behind me back, me no go spell it out. I tell me about loose mouth, nah, I see me falter, plus tugs me no short and saw. Hello, big mouth, keep talking. No, I say you never did want to listen and eat the warning. Oh, I saw it going up. GQ TV. Princess Rebel, 
check the level. You think that bad? All right, make me give you the second verse. Me na beg na kit him out, nothing come me done. Have me crew them, who them them fish? Me na beg friends to over there. Me a roll with me togs and me crew them. So me aga style and I slew them. Everywhere me got a beer talk, I saw them love chat them out. Then I go stop to them, get a hard box. Them wish them could have squeezed them in eagle eye slot. But them can't talk, but them go and walk. Hello, big mouth, keep talking. Yeah, I had the edited version of my gear called the raw one, too bad. Big up GQ. Zin, Princess Rebel, check the level. Fight for your eyes. Buckle up and let's take a ride Let's go see what life is like Cause when you're 